Well, hello, welcome back. Yep, you found me again. I'm Nate. So we got this really nice 1700 square foot home called the Hampton. Now this one is in the single story version. You can get this with a 10-12 roof pitch and a 9-12 roof pitch and get yourself another 950 square foot added onto the home. With that, we are at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. So not a lot to show on the side here, but we got to come around to the back side real quick like. Now if you are looking at the home and you're interested in this home, Homes by Vanderbilt does not service any place else other than the North Carolina area. So if you are looking outside of North Carolina and you're not moving to North Carolina, please do me a favor and do not try to call them and get information on this home unless you're planning on moving here or live in the North Carolina area. But I wanted to point out this back door here real quick. Great big windows around the home. Now let's come back around and head into the front. We got back door that goes into your utility room. So that's the perfect place to put your garage. Imagine your garage sitting right there. And as we come around in the front here, we've got a nice size porch. Put yourself a couple rocking chairs there. This one's going to be right about six foot wide, I believe. All right, let's head on in. I like when you come into this one, you're not looking straight into the kitchen. You are looking at your entertainment center over there, your living room, your kitchen's off to the right hand side. We'll come back to that. So not only is your living room what you first walk into, but it covers the full width of the home. Now they do have a little seating area over here set up kind of as a breakfast nook but more like a, just a maybe a card table type deal or something of that nature but the main focus is this area here and i really like the way they have this set up as an entertainment center plenty of room on the shelves down here got a nice wide shelf here or I should say deep shelf so you can actually set something on it whether it be your TV or you hang your TV off the wall you can actually set something on it it's a useful shelf recessed lighting up above you and you got these great big windows to either side just really makes it pop You got this extra wide sliding glass door off your dining room area here. So not only do you have your front porch, you can set yourself up a really nice deck out back there. You know, perfect for the barbecue, the family get togethers, that kind of stuff. Plenty of room in your dining room for a much larger table. And I really like the color of the flooring that they used here. And if you notice, they've got the six inch trim across the flooring area. The crown molding is just as nice all the way around. And 
Now the appliance package used in this show model is the GE stainless steel version. You can get different options, of course. Save yourself a few bucks, get the non-stainless steel, or go with a whole, whole different brand. Got a plug in right there. Nice size center island. Set up pots and pans drawers, couple of cabinets and a drawer. There's no plug at this end, just at the other end there. Lots of cabinet space. You have another stack of drawers just to the left of your stove there. A lot of recessed lighting around your kitchen here, all around your counter. So it really lights up the counter space. So as you see, you got a lot of room in your drawer there. You could fit quite a few pans and pots in there. Let's come down here and get the utility room. So your utility room is at the very end of the home. You have a linen closet right here. So this is off the back side of the home. That is your water heater access. Full size washer and dryer, of course, with your shelf up above. This, I believe, would be where the furnace is going to go. And then you have your attic crawl space there. Now, if you had the upstairs, that obviously wouldn't be there. And then your kids' rooms are right off of your kitchen. So we've got the guest bathroom, which is a really large bathroom for being a guest bathroom. As you can see, it's a nice wide room. Has some cabinets in here. Well, I can't hardly get them to adjust. Okay. Trust me, it's not dark in here. It's just the dark cabinets. One piece shower tub combo with the soaker tub built into it. So come from this angle, you can see it gets wider at the other end. All right, let's go check out the first bedroom. Really nice sized bedrooms here. Now the shelf in the closet is kind of up high. <laughs> I actually have to reach kind of way up here to get to it, but it gives you room to hang some really long stuff. So if you're a tall person and you need some long stuff, those are the shelves for you. Both these bedrooms are about the same size. I noticed in this closet, you know, the shelf is up still just as high as the other one, but you got this air duct vent that kind of takes up some space in there. And that might be why that is up so high. So you still got room to hang stuff in the backside. Now these are all modular homes that they do here. So I'm not sure what the state code is in North Carolina. I'm not from here, but I've noticed that they all have these vents kind of everywhere throughout the home in places that you wouldn't normally see a vent. So I'm thinking that that might have something to do with the North Carolina code and the type of ventilation that you have to have in the home. 
And on to the master bedroom. And once again, you can see these guys lay their, their rooms out really nicely, giving you the maximum amount of space for your rooms without compromising on space anywhere else and still making everything feel larger than what it really is. Once again, they went with the dark colored cabinets in here. So you can't really show a whole lot of the cabinet inside. And I like the fact that they do a stack of drawers on each one of the sinks. A lot of times you'll have a cabinet on both sides there or, you know, dual doors on one side and all your drawers will be on the other. They give you the best of both worlds on both sides of the sink. You got your makeup area. Hello, Raiden. Dual vanity, you got a window above your makeup area there. Behind your bathroom door, goes into your water closet. Of course, I think I already showed you a little bit of the shower, but we'll come back. So once again, there's that vent, taking up some space in your closet, but you've got lots of wire racks in here. Now you can easily substitute these for the wooden racks, giving you a lot of closet space in here, including your shoe rack down at the bottom. Then we have the big tile shower here. You've got the rain head shower and your standard tile, or standard shower head. I don't know if there's an option for the wand shower. I'm sure you probably can get it. it. Can't seem like it would be that hard to put one in, but I really like the color they used and then the accent color. And with that, how about you leave me an accent comment, whatever that may be. Don't ask me how I, anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to tie it in. It didn't work very well. How about you just leave me a comment down below. What do you think of the home? While you're down there, don't forget to uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you get notified when I upload videos three times a week. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Right. Oh, what did you think? Have you left me a comment yet? <laughs> Probably not. But, oh, never mind. You got to finish watching the video before you leave a comment. Anyway, jokes aside, thought I'd give you some price information on this home. This one comes in at a really reasonable price. A really nice size home. Keep in mind, this one you can add more to the cost of the home if you get the upstairs by going with the 912 or the 1012 pitch by adding 950 square foot. But this one comes in at 1700 square foot as shown. The price on it as shown in October of 2022. Keep in mind, there's uh, extra variables that could come into play, extra city fees, county fees, those kinds of things. So keep all that in mind. Prices vary over time. So at time of filming in October of 22, this one comes in right at 220,000 for the base price. And as shown is coming in right about $346,000. So not a bad price on this home, really. It rates right there, top quality. I mean, you get a lot for your money in this one. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.